welcome back to Contextual Electronics. This session is all about defining a board outline. It's a real quick session. Uh, we're just going to go through it real quick and get it over with. There, there's a lot of stuff you'll have to learn after the fact once you've you know you've done your first easy one. But uh, for now, we'll be good to go. All right, so we open up the KiCad launcher, and then we open up. So we have a, we already have a blank PCB file, but we can also go to PCB New, which is the layout editor as we've been using. All right, so blank canvas right now, nothing really going on here. Obviously, I do not have any parts imported because this is a completely blank project. Normally, you would start by actually importing parts and such. But we're, we're going to start very simply just by doing the board outline. So there's a couple things to notice here. One would be uh, checking your grid. So uh, you can see down here, I'm actually in inches as my units, and my grid is set to uh, to be at uh, 0.1 millimeters. And so I probably actually want to go up here so that we're up in the 10 mils or so, because that's actually 0 0.01 inches then. And so you really just want your, your grid to match your whatever unit you're measuring in. Since I'm, I'm used to Imperial, uh, that's just what I'm going to use. You can see as we've, 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 we zoom far enough in, we'll match up there. But as we zoom out, we actually lose that grid. All right, and so we're going to just start with a simple uh, square board, say two inch by two inch, that would be uh, 5.0, or uh, how much would that be? An inch is 25 millimeters, so that'd be roughly 50.8 millimeters, I believe. Uh, all right, and so we're going to start, you can see, again, we're uh, looking at the, the grid down here and the actual coordinates are down here. So what if we want to make a two inch by two inch board, we're just going to pick a generic spot on this board. This is uh, the sheet is defined. It starts down here, up oh, sorry, at, up here at uh, zero zero up here roughly, and in an absolute sense, you can see uh, the absolute number here, and basically goes all the way down here, and it shows that this is a eleven by seventeen roughly sheet of paper. Uh, anyways, uh, we're going to just pick somewhere in the middle, and we'll hit the space bar. And that you can see that zeroes out our uh, our relative coordinates. I'll zero that out again, and I'm just going to start drawing. And this is actually going to error out here, but you can see I've actually selected the graphic line or polygon. And as I start to draw, oh, you cannot actually draw on the copper layers. So what we need to do is, is come up here, switch through to a different layer, in this case the edge cuts, which defines the outlines. This is actually what tells the board house where to cut out the board with a with a, a routing bit. So zero it out again, start here, you can see we'll go, the DX doesn't change much, uh, we'll just kind of approximate the, uh, kind of zoom in a little bit here as well, and there we go. All right. And as we go across, zooming in actually does give you a little bit more fine fine control over your your diagram here or what you actually wanted to draw. This is going to be 2 0 and really whatever we're locked in one plane here until you go to the 45 so you can you can kind of it's it's nice cuz when you're trying to hone in on this uh, uh, this coordinate you're trying to hit. It's very helpful. All right. Oh, I'm chasing the wrong one there. Sorry about that. So we're going for the z two zero. And then finally, when we get to the end, it's nice when you can just zoom all the way back in. We are at zero zero. And then to finish the this is to double click. All right. Uh, now there are some guides out here uh, on, on the web that do suggest that you change the width. That can be helpful. It depends really on what you're starting with as your as your grid. So we ch we just chose a uh, 10 mil grid. So that is that is relatively big. You can see that this is basically taking up about half that grid. So it's probably about a five mil trace or so. Um, so what we can do is we can actually go in here. Uh, sorry, mouse over, hit E, and that'll actually uh, give you default thickness we can actually change this down to about one if we want to oops point oh one you can see that takes that right down point oh one point oh one 
you can see that it does still make that connection because really in the actual file all it's giving is its coordinates right so the graphical representation that the program is showing us this is just how it's drawing it for us to see it it doesn't uh, and, and we're just making these smaller for clarity it's not actually going to affect anything at the fab you know they might use a different size router bit but ultimately you don't want to be pro or designing too close to the edge anyways all right and so we have a two by two inch square board and uh, yes, that's pretty simple there. Now, if we wanted to, we can also move into the other, we can add circles, uh, but more likely adding graphic arcs and graphic uh, diagonals. So you can actually start chopping off the edge of your, your board here if you want to, and then you can start uh, doing other cut-ins and odd things. Basically, anything that you think uh, a router bit can do. So if you've ever seen, uh, there's a lot of good videos on YouTube about showing how they, they route out boards after they're done. And I'll try and link those into the notes for this page, for this video. Uh, but it's just an important thing to notice is that, you know, whatever you put into this file here, this these coordinates you put in here are actually going to be tried to be cut by your board house. So try and have realistic expectations. Usually outside square corners aren't a big deal. But if you're, you know, if you're trying to draw a uh, inside square corner like this, this is going to be a little bit more difficult. So if we actually go and delete this, oops, sorry. If we delete, ah. there we go. Delete near the front of the line. And if we, uh, so if we drew something similar to this, where we actually, you know, have a cut here, an inside corner is always more difficult for a routing bit than an outside corner is because. Uh, you can't actually, if you think about how the router comes in, it actually has to kind of curve in, you know, it's just, it's a cylinder, basically. So, but that's just a style thing, uh, and, you know, what your board house can do. <clears throat> More important is just understanding how you actually start drawing. Um, another thing to notice is that when you actually try and move stuff, if you select the group, there is an option here to include the board out, board outline layer. And... It might not seem important now, but if you're selecting maybe you know a corner of the components, you probably want to deselect this. You know, if you had components here, you want to deselect this because otherwise you'll start taking the board with you'll take take the board outline with you. And once you have that set, you really don't want it to to move anymore. So that's all. Board outlines not that not that difficult, but uh, easy to learn, hard to master kind of thing. So uh, if you have any questions, hit up the forum. And thanks for watching.